Hello everyone, welcome to Native Mobile Bits and in today's video we are going to cover all about composables. In our previous video of Jetpack Compose series we have created this very basic project and now in this video we will learn about the Jetpack Compose coding structure. Okay so finally we have our project ready and now we can talk more about Jetpack Compose. So with this dummy project which our Android Studio created for us we can see that there is load of composables here and there inside our project. That's because Jetpack Compose is built around these composable functions and with the help of these composable functions we can define our applications UI and then we can pass the data as well inside these composables. As before we have our own create method inside our activity one difference to note here is now main activity is extending this component activity earlier it used to be that app compact activity and so on so earlier our set content method used to be with parenthesis and here we used to define our layouts right now we have our set content as a trailing lambda this is called lambdas where we have these curly braces instead of parenthesis now let's check the difference between this set content lambda and set content with parenthesis so if we go inside the declaration of this method we can see that any activity can call this method this component activity dot set content and we are extending the same activity inside our main activity so our activity can actually call this set content method and it takes two parameters one is the parent and then another one is the content and this second parameter is kind of a function we can see with the help of this declaration this is kind of a function here and this returns a composable so basically this set content takes two parameters parent and then this function which returns a composable and if we check this documentation comments here so this set content trailing lambda this is roughly equivalent to calling this set content view where we used to pass our layouts right so it is similar thing okay so let's try this set content with these parameters directly inside our activity okay so to simplify we will just use this composable greeting composable and for now we can delete all of this from here and let's just write our greeting composable okay so now we have our set content with one composable and we can see this greeting function is a composable and we can make any function by adding this at the rate composable annotation so here we can just try the older way set content and as this first parameter is assigned with nullable value so we no need to mention this we can directly pass any composable method here inside this content parameter and here we can use named parameter content and as this content is a function type so we can use this curly braces and inside this we can pass this greeting composable like this okay so these two things are similar either we can use this set content with this named parameter and we can use this parenthesis like before or we can directly pass this composable inside this trailing lambda okay so for now we can delete this and we will keep this declaration like this and by this time we have understood that composable is the fundamental block inside jetpack compose so if we try to go to the declaration of this annotation composable so we can see that composable functions are the fundamental building blocks of an application built with compose so inside our jetpack compose project we need to use this composable function to draw any screen to write any logic inside those screen we need to use composable function and to define a composable function we just need to use this at the rate composable annotation and we can make any function as composable function and we can call any composable function from within a composable function and as we have already checked that this set content takes composable as parameter so here we can define our composable and then we can define any function as composable by adding this composable annotation okay now let's delete everything id created for us and we will create everything on our own we will create our own custom composables so here we will just keep this set content like this 
so now we have one activity and we have extended our activity with this component activity this is coming out of jetpack compose and then we have our own create method inside this we have our set content lambda inside this we need to pass our composables so let's say we want to write a program where we want to show some message to the user when the user enter his or her name okay so we can define a function as it is like we define in Kotlin and here we can just give a name to this function greetings and then we can take a parameter of username of a string type and this cannot be null and then we can add the curly braces like this so we have one function and it takes name as the parameter and to make this function as a composable we can just add here composable annotation and now this function will be a part of the screen composition a screen composition means when we try to draw the screen on our device and now we want to draw a text on the screen with this name so we can use some text composable and in jetpack compose there are some predefined composable like there is something called text this is one composable these are predefined composable it takes value of this text this is kind of a name parameter text is the name parameter and we can pass the value name here like this okay now we need to call this composable inside our set content method this method is the entry point of our screen composition okay so in this activity whatever we are going to show on the screen we need to add that main parent composable inside our set content lambda method so right now we only have this greetings composable so we can just take this and inside this we can just use greetings and for name we can just pass android okay and if we want to see how our screen is looking right now we can define a function we can name it anything we want but we can right now name it default preview like this and here whatever we are adding inside set content the same thing we can just copy paste inside of a default preview function and as this greetings is a composable we can only call this greetings from a composable method itself so let's make this default preview function a composable and to see the preview of this screen we have one annotation called preview preview this is also a part of the jetpack compose library if we hover the mouse over it we can see this is coming from compose.ui.tooling preview and here we can also add if you want to see some background on the screen show background and we can add true okay like this and now if we try to split this so we can just see our preview is rendering and let's minimize this a little so it is showing us there is one text and then there is some background because of this if we make this false there will not be any background if we try to render it again like this now there is no background so let's make it back to true and now it will re-render with this background here so with the help of this preview annotation we can just check how our screen is going to look like in the real device and let's try to run our application on a emulator and let's see how our app is looking in the real device okay so our emulator is starting and our application is installing and we can see that we have one android text over here which we was passing inside our function let's minimize this for now let's make it code and if we want to make any changes in this we can just add here inside text value or either we can pass the change from here so let's make some changes here we can just add hello space and then we can add this dollar symbol to take reference of our name value and now let's try to run again
okay so now our application is showing us hello android and if we go to our preview section so here also our value is updated it's coming as the updated text value hello android air so this way we can define a custom composable we can define any function inside that we can just add some predefined composable or any other composable which we want to define and then we can add that parent composable inside set content lambda and then if we want to see the preview before we run our application we can just define some function and then we can make that function as composable and then we can add this preview annotation and then we can add the same thing which we added here inside set content we can add the same thing inside our preview method and then it will be shown here in the preview section okay for example let's say we want to define one more composable okay and we want to define this composable as text value or something okay and this takes a parameter again value of a string type and then instead of adding this text value here let's add inside our text value composable function and then use this value reference here okay and then we can take this reference of our composable function inside our greeting composable and we can add here text value composable and here we can pass the value as name so here also it is showing us the same thing and if we try to run our program again it will show us the same thing inside the application also okay so this way composition works if we have one composable we can define any other composable or as many composable we want inside this so for now we had one composable text value we defined one another greeting composable and inside this greeting composable we have added this text value composable and then we have added our parent composable which is greeting inside our set content and same thing inside default preview and then we can see inside preview also we are seeing the value which we wanted to print and then inside our device also we are seeing the value so this is how we can define our composable function we just need to define a function we need to add the annotation composable and if you want to see the preview we need to add this preview annotation as well so that was today's video guys i hope i shared something valuable with you today if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel also please share my channel with the friends who are learning android or jetpack compose and i will see you in the next video